Hey guys, so today we're creating one of my favorite people, Barack Obama, from the hit TV show, Gossip Girl. Doesn't he look so handsome? So let's get started. I'm Whoopi Goldberg and you're watching The View. We're making Ralph from Wreck-It Ralph. I just like saying nonsense. And this video is actually a collab with one of my favorite cake decorators on YouTube, Zoe from Zoe's Fancy Cakes. I turned Ralph's face into a cake and she turned Vanellope Von Schweetz into this bomb doll cake. Yeah, I'll leave links at the end of the video so you can go watch it. It's it's ridiculous how good this looks. Let's create this cake. I'm starting with a pecan cake that I dyed red. I really wanted to eat pecan. Pecan's my favorite. Pecan pie. Oh, that's just so yummy. And I baked my cake in an adjustable cake pan that I saw on TV. This is pretty legit. It doesn't hold its shape all that well, but the fact that you can adjust it to be the perfect size means that there's not that much excess cake. And I cut my cake in half and then added some buttercream into the middle. I'm using an 18 inch pastry bag and it's pretty big. So you have to squeeze it really hard to get it all out. That's what she, I'm just using an offset spatula to smoothen out my buttercream. And then I added my second layer of cake. And I'm gonna cut my Ralph shape using a paring knife. Now I'm cutting out a very specific shape. But after I added on the fondant, all of the like very sharp edges on the hair just, it just got lost. I'm gonna clean up my cake board and then transfer my cake onto my cake stand. After that, I started to carve Ralph's shape. I'm cutting away the sides of the cake and just started to focus on adding dimensions to his face. I just separated the upper and the bottom parts of his face. Yeah. The upper part of his face needed to be a little bit lower than his mouth and his chin area. And I was trying to be very specific about where his eyes were and how deep they were so that I could make the eye sockets just right. And then I started to work on his hairline. This is a picture I'm using, guys. I don't know if you could tell. It's like super blurry. <laughs> this has nothing to do with anything, but I'm holding it. Now it's gonna be in the entire video. And once I was happy with my shape, I gave this baby a crumb coat. Just started covering my entire cake with buttercream. Just making sure that all the crumbs stay on this layer of buttercream and that they don't appear on the final layer of fondant. Does crumbs get all over the place? After I gave my cake a crumb coat, I placed it into the fridge for about, say like, a good hour. I was watching all of my favorite videos from Zoe Fancy Cakes. This Jurassic World T-Rex cake is incredible. You're gonna hear me say that like a million times in this video. The amount of texture and detail that went into creating this dinosaur is incredible. <laughs> Now I covered my entire cake with Ralph's skin tone colored fondant. I'm just working the fondant all the way down the sides of the cake and just making sure that I can see all of the shapes that I created and carved earlier. Now using a flexible sculpting tool, I started to trace his face. I wanted to make sure that I got his hairline in the perfect place, as well as the separation between the top and the bottom half of his face. And I switched over to a ball fondant tool. And first I started to just separate and push down the fondant by his eyes and his nose. That way I could gauge how much depth I needed to create his cheeks. And then I started to create his hairline, as well as start to form his brow line. I started to create his smile, I wanted it to look like there was an actual separation between his bottom and his top lip, even though he has no lips, like was Tom Holland. <laughs> I just cut into the fondant just a little bit to create this illusion of separation. Then I added some more fondant to create Ralph's nose. I'm doing this separately because sometimes when I add the nose into the cake, it just gets lost in the rest of the fondant. 
I'm adding some separation in between each nostril. And then I started to work on Ralph's hair. Now to create his hair, I'm just layering several pieces of brown fondant. I felt like the overlapping of fondant would make the hair look more realistic. And then I just kept looking at my picture, like again and again. But the, there's no texture at all, it's just blur. It was a good picture, but it's like when you blow it up, that's when it's no bueno. Layering the fondant on top of each other worked out really well. It looked a lot like the texture that's created in the animated movie. So Zoe's Fancy Cakes is one of the cake decorators on YouTube that showed me how to make more realistic looking cakes. She also helped me understand how to stack my cakes to create a 3D character. I was always really scared of that, which is why I stuck to like cupcakes and cookies for a long time. I know I feel like I'm gushing, but I just, I learned so much from her. This flash cake from Zootopia, oh god. See, this taught me how to contour and to add shadow and detail. It's just, it just looks so good. Once I was happy with his hairline, I created his ears. There's no real texture to them, they're just very square. I layered this on top of his hair, and then on top of that, I added on his sideburns. I'm just giving them the same sort of texture that all of his hair has. And I added two bushy fondant eyebrows. Again, adding the same texture that's on the hair that's on top of his head. So I really liked Wreck-It Ralph, and I'm really excited to watch Wreck-It Ralph 2. I wonder how they're gonna handle the dark web, because the dark web is not, family or kid friendly at all but they decided to include it so i'm curious about what they're gonna do and before i added his eyes i realized his eye sockets weren't deep enough so i'm just using a ball tool to add more depth and then i added two white balls of fondant i'm using small circles of fondant to give him pupils and they look really flat so with a little bit of light brown food coloring, I just painted the rims to give them some depth. And then I used white food coloring to add some catch lights. And yo, that small amount of detail adds so much to this cake. It looks so realistic. And I wanted to add some more depth and character to his hair. So I diluted a little bit of black and brown food coloring in some magic sauce. I'm just using all of the dark areas on this picture as a reference. It's so weird because the crack of the wand sounds like the ruler that Sister Margaret would hit me with. <laughs> Those nuns are cray, you guys. So I diluted a very tiny amount of black food coloring in some magic sauce. And then I just painted this around Ralph's face to give him some shadow. Um, I'd recommend you do this with like color dust, but I ran out of that, so what can you do? And voila, my Ralph from Wreck Your Ralph was complete. I'm very proud of this cake. Creating faces is really hard. With a lot of faces I created previously, they're very like withered and worn out. So it would hide a lot of my mistakes, but Ralph's face is like so smooth. And I felt like if I messed up on this, everyone would be able to tell. But it looks so bomb. I'm curious, are you more excited to see Ralph or Vanilla P. Von Schweetz? Or are you just going to see all the Disney princesses in one movie? Now make sure you head over to Zoe's Fancy Cake so you can watch her create this Vanellope Von Schweetz doll cake. And that's not even a doll, you guys. She made that from scratch. I don't... It's... God, it's incredible. I'll leave a link in the description box and at the end of the video to her YouTube channel and to the video she created, as well as some other characters I created that will also appear in Wreck-It Ralph 2 and possibly Wreck-It Ralph 3 because I'm sure this is gonna make a lot of money. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.